So, uh, Deborah and I work as a team, so we're going to split this question up between the two of us, and we're going to talk about two separate subjects. I'm going to talk about fresh water, and Deborah's going to talk about climate change. So, uh, we uh, have a, a clear aspiration for what we want to happen with fresh water and water management over the next 20 years. We want to wait, make our rivers and lakes swimmable within a generation. And the, the, at the core of achieving that is what we call national policy statements. These are frameworks that, are, um, that the RMA, the Resource Management Act, allows governments to put into place that set standard rules across the country about how you want to um, manage your environment. And we, we want to introduce a considerably stronger national policy statement for freshwater than what we have right now. In fact, the last Labor government initiated an NPS for freshwater management. And the resulting uh, statement tr uh, from a tribunal chaired by the, by the former Principal Environment Judge Shepherd would have required strong action on the impact of agricultural intensification is having on our water quality. Unfortunately, that, didn't, that wasn't implemented. National came along and gutted the NPS. And now what we have uh, is a national policy statement that allows for uh, levels of nutrients in our water that are toxic, uh, that allows for uh, our rivers to become dirtier and allow and sets a standard only of, of rivers and lakes being wadeable or boatable. So in other words, minimum human contact with our fresh water would be allowed under the current scheme. We need to do much better than that. We need to ensure that our fresh water that is clean now stays clean. We cannot dirty any more rivers than we already have. We need to uh, control irrigation and we'll do that through a resource rental so that irrigation is done in a more sustainable and sensible way and the revenue gained from that resource rental will be used to clean up our rivers. And we need to make sure that farming is supported to move to practices which are more sustainable and have less impact on our land and our water.